Every vehicle that we launch, every system that we launch, and every part that we launch have gone through electromagnetic testing. The goal of our testing is to induce any kind of failure. And I know from the evidence of our test results that there is nothing pointing to sudden acceleration caused from the electronics. Electronic throttle control systems are used on virtually every vehicle. Every major manufacturer uses that kind of system. In general, all ETC systems work the same way. It has sensors that monitor how the throttle and the pedal are positioned together or how they work collectively or collaboratively. It also enables so many other systems in the vehicle. It lets you have the steering control, braking control, all the other electronics that help you control how the vehicle works. In the case of an electronic system, you've got continuous monitoring of how the system is functioning and if it's functioning properly. We are very confident in the fail-safes. Uh, we do have multiple redundant fail-safes in the system, and if any of those detect any kind of variance, not a catastrophic failure, I'm saying any kind of variance, we move it to a fail-safe mode and we notify the driver either through reduced power to the pedal or through some type of check engine and warning signal. So the driver is automatically notified if there's any variance or any change that would make the vehicle unsafe. In addition to the testing that we do, we've also contracted a third party company, uh, Exponent, to do some testing for us. We've given them no parameters, no limits, no boundaries, no cost, no anything. They can do what they like and test away as far as they'd like. So um, the interim reports coming back from them also show there's no evidence whatsoever that the electronics has any impact on sudden acceleration.